Hi, and welcome to the third in my series of introductions to InfoPath 2007. In the previous demos, I showed an example of an InfoPath form and how easy it is to build forms. But the important thing about forms is not filling them out for the sake of it, but ensuring that the information entered in the form gets to where it's needed. In this demo, I'd like to show you some of the different submit options in InfoPath and how to set them up. Here I have an InfoPath form that I've created. I need to set what happens when users finish filling out this form. If I go to the Tools menu, one of the items listed is Submit Options. At the moment, the form is set to the default, which is that users cannot submit this form. I would like to change that. The default setting is to allow users to submit forms to a single destination. I'll start by discussing this option. I can choose various ways of submitting forms, including by email, to a web service, or to a SharePoint document library. I will choose the document library. At the moment, I have not set a data connection for submitting forms. I will go to Add to create a new data connection. This opens up the data connection wizard. I need to input a location for the document library. Then I will choose what the file will be called. I can either enter a name or create a function. I'll click on the function button. Now I will enter a function to concatenate the values in the last name field and the date field. Now when someone submits this form, the file will be named according to this function. This means you can easily enforce naming standards without everyone having to know exactly what the name should be. All I have to do is name the connection. I will leave the name as main submit, which is the default. I'll click finish and then OK. And I'm done. I've set up a rule that any user who fills out this form can submit it and the form will be sent to a SharePoint library with a standard name. It's as simple as that. But that's the option for a single submit. What if I want to do something more complicated? If I want to, I can write in rules that determine how the form is submitted. I'll go back to the Submit Options window. This time, I'll choose to perform an action using rules. I need to create the rules first. At the moment, there are no existing rules. So if I click Add, I get the option to build one. First, I will name this rule. At the moment, this rule always applies, so I need to set a condition. I will choose to create rules so that different things happen depending on the value in the total field. Now I have a condition where the rule applies, but I haven't set any actions for the rule to implement. I'll have to add one. The action that I want associated with this rule is for the form to be submitted. By default, I'm given the option of submitting the form through the Submit option I created earlier. If I click OK, I now have a rule where the form will be submitted to a SharePoint library where the total is less than £1,000. But I want something different to happen when the value is greater than or equal to that amount, so I will create a new rule. Again, I will name this rule, and as before, I will set a condition. So this rule will apply when the total is greater than or equal to £1,000. I need to decide what happens in this case. The default is the same as before, but I want the form to be submitted differently in this case. If I click Add, I'm given the Data Connection Wizard again to set up a new Submit option. I want to create a new Data Connection, but this time I'd like to submit the form as an email message. I need to choose who to send the email to. I can add multiple addresses at this point, or use a function to create the address. I can also create a standard email to be sent out. 
I have the choice to send the form within the email or as an attachment. And now I just need a name for the submit connection. I'll leave this as the default. So now I have a new rule that will email the form when the total is greater than £1,000. I could associate multiple actions to a single rule, set up multiple conditions to determine the appropriate rules, as well as having a huge number of potential rules that could be applied. This allows for an enormous range of possibilities that the end user doesn't even need to be aware of. All the user has to do is click Submit, and these rules will ensure that the form is dealt with in the appropriate way. InfoPath also has the ability to send information directly to a web service or to hosting environments. This can remove a lot of potential for human error, because you're not left with a situation where one person enters information on a form and another has to manually copy it over into a database. And these are just the methods available out of the box with no custom code. If your situation requires a form submission to be more complex than even these options allow, you can always program in an option that is entirely suited to your needs. Thank you.